Welcome back, welcome back to another video on the Dre Sanchez YouTube channel. Here we are in Charles Schultz or Sonoma County, I-K-O-K-S-T-S, -S, um, in California, and we are heading up to Seattle. We are flying on the VATSIM network. It is Friday Night Operations or FNO, and the destination spot today is Seattle. Flying time today is about an hour and 36 minutes. We will have a full complement of passengers on board. Um, we are already logged on to the VATSIM network, but the plane is cold and dark, so I'm going to need your help in order to get this aircraft up in the sky and get us on destination. Hopefully, we don't have any problems with ATC. We do all the right procedures tonight and have an enjoyable flight. All right, let's go ahead and jump on board. And we can come right over here and uh, just double check everything up top is off. Before we do that, we're going to come to this little interface, which is only specific to this aircraft and the flight sim world. You really wouldn't see this interface in the real world, but there's some things we got to do to make sure that our sim world is okay. So here we've got about 5,000 pounds in each tank, which aggregates this to 10,000 uh, 700 and something pounds of fuel, which is more than enough. Let's go ahead and mark our passengers are completely full here and let's set that payload. So now that we do have that payload set, um, we can see that our fuel is on board and we have our payload on board. So we don't need to make any more changes. And of course, I also did change this to pounds. And once we go ahead and uh, depart, we will most certainly um, use this uh, to do our pushback uh, because for whatever reason, this aircraft does not like playing nice with the better pushback feature. All right, so let's go ahead and get our batteries on here. So there's one and two. You're going to start hearing some dings here as the aircraft initializes it itself. Let's get our nav lights on and we will get our logo on. It is in the evening. However, I set my sim world to be during the daytime because it's early uh, sunset during the winter, as you know, and it does not make for a great flight sim video all the time because you can't see anything. You can't enjoy it. So uh, let's make that uh, GPU in use and let's turn that off. And now we've got the initialization coming up. All right, aircraft is being initialized. I'm on the second screen getting down to my V speeds, which will, that will most certainly indicate what we need to do on takeoff. All right, and we'll be doing a flaps to takeoff, so that's good. So I'm pulling that information up and we'll get our weight and all that good stuff. In the meantime, let's jump down here to the FMS and start doing what we need to do. So the first thing we're gonna do is come over here and do our nav. We're gonna do position initialization and we are going to load this bottom GPS coordinate. And then here now we are gonna put Charles Schultz, IKO, Kilo Sierra Tango Sierra. And then we are going to Kilo Sierra Echo Alpha. Here in a second, we are gonna call for our clearance. And of course we are, uh, today we are calling ourselves Horizon 18 or 318, and that's the information for that. And then, of course, now uh, we can activate that. Uh, we most certainly need to come over here and get our route all planned in, but we're going to start with our departure and things of that nature. So, let's see, flight plan. Let's see, we're in the route page here. Da, da 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 there's the route okay flight plan let me see here so this route should be where we are adding in our waypoints da, 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 da. doesn't give us an opportunity maybe i shouldn't have activated that yet um but we'll get this we'll get this figured out here uh even if i have to let's see let me go to flight plan here there's no waypoints here. This all really should be going into the route. Um, so we'll add some stuff in there because there's nothing activated yet. So we'll, we'll get that squared away where there's a page too. I'm not even worried about that. But first and foremost, we definitely need to call up our air traffic control. So we are in Oakland Center's purview. I'm not sure which part of Oakland Center we fall under. Uh, there's three centers on. So I am going to start with the uh, 125 
decimal eight five two five decimal eight five zero type that in and let's see what we get here all right let me just make sure that is in and it is Oakland Center Horizon 318 at Sonoma County looking for IFR to Seattle. Horizon 318, stand by. I'll get 204, 21, contact Oakland Center 119.97. 119.97, Alaska, 2421. Waypoints, okay, so let me go ahead and bring this down now while we're waiting. We'll just keep this like right here. All right, so I just plugged in our route. Let's get our airport information and let's get our sim link going here. Uh, oh, this is the wrong airfield. So I was doing some flying earlier at Gillespie Field. So now we just need to get to the right airfield. And here we are. So you see primary runways 3, 2, and 1, 4. And obviously, this is the major strip of runway. It's 6,000 feet, more than enough for this aircraft to take off. And uh, we essentially need to see where the winds are out of. So I'm going to uh, check the weather out. One one nine point nine or seven. I want to see So the winds are most certainly um, out of the west. Uh, so you know it's at 240 degrees. So this is where you decide on which runway to use. It's a crosswind takeoff. Um, you know, this aircraft probably could take off on this. I doubt they're going to give us a, a strip of runway, but it probably does have enough runway to take off in this. I don't like it. I'd rather use this runway for sure, um, especially because we are heavy today. Um, but essentially, this would be the most optimal runway to take off because it's more so facing southwest, but nor it's facing west. However, in lieu of that, heading is at 240 so from 140 to 240 that's exactly 100 degrees but from 240 to 320 that's uh definitely uh about 80 degrees Center, uh, delta 2448 uh okay. sitting down to 350 per uh, 340 would make 100 degrees so we'll probably he'll probably no, have us taken off on this northern of runway okay. um Squawk. Three, two, and one, the zero. altimeter right now three, i'm gonna write it down three, two, three, one, zero. Zero, one, nine. And skies are clear. So I'm just writing down that. All right. So this is what the plan is. And then if he comes back to us, this is going to be the departure that he should be clearing us for, which is pretty much just getting us to a VOR after we leave. Um, and our, let me see what my transition is. The transition is STS right here. So essentially, uh, we're probably just going to leave, and he's not even have us come back to this transition. Um, so that's what it's going to be. Essentially, if we leave runway three two, climb left, heading one six four, then he's going to give us vectors, basically. Um, uh, intercept, climb SAR two to freeze at or above the minimum uh, altitude. Twenty four forty eight contact. So, Center, we'll check back in to get our clearance one more time, because he said stand by, but they get busy and they forget, and I don't want to be here all day. So, let's look at our, some other information, um, that we can ascertain. Okay, so one thing we can also use this for is to see our, uh, total weight of the aircraft so here's our zero fuel weight and here's our payload weight so if you add 10 that would be 73 uh, plus another 10 so we're hovering right around 80,000 pounds come here our gross weight is 74,000 pounds uh, 74,500 pounds and let's come over here and take a look at more information so this is the gross weight and you can also see here's our fuel actually let me come over here let's see here I just saw our fuel stores okay here they are um, here's our fuel stores right here so you can see that that's accurately reading what we have in the tank and then if we come here of course and go to perf 
and go to our perf initialization this is also going to tell us how much we weigh um, and I think he forgot about us so no, 2448 contact Oakland we'll come back so our gross weight right now with everything on board is 74,512 pounds is what it's given us so we're also going to uh, make concessions for our departure on that as well so now that I know that we're 74,000 pounds I'm going to pull in our V-speeds for you. So you can see that. Have a good night. So right here is where you're going to see uh, our weight. We're taking off flaps 2 for the E-170 at 74,000 pounds. We essentially, we're going to add we're going to add one to each of these because there is a 2 pound difference between 74 and 76. So I will essentially uh, uh, maybe add uh, one or two, which is probably one, uh, not to each of these uh, settings um, so let's call back Oakland Center Horizon 318 still here at Charles Shorts waiting for IFR to Seattle please Horizon 318 Oakland uh, clear Seattle Tacoma please 9 departure that is filed climb 18 9000 expect fall 36010 after departure departure frequency 125.75 squawk 3215 Clear to Seattle is filed, freeze 9, then is filed, climb maintain 9000, expect flight level 36010 minutes after departure, departure frequency is 125.75 and 3215 in the box, Horizon 318. Horizon 318, uh, read back correct. Alright, so we have our read back correct, and if I'm not mistaken, we are still on the right frequency for him, oh no, so departure is actually 125 said seven five potentially he made eight five uh, let me check my that's in interface delays and said Seattle. one two five seven five but he errored it's actually one two five uh eight five which is him uh so we will stick with that let's go ahead now and get back in here to let's just assume we're doing runway 32 uh, STS is the uh, actually is the uh, now let's see here I'm still curious okay so uh, we can just continue to add our waypoints here I'm still tripping why isn't it giving me there's a normal route entry page um, because we may have to enter well we I don't think we enter any airways on here so we'll just do it this way um, so let's go ahead and add after Charles Schultz BOR or STS the actual next waypoint is going to be uh, ENI Echo November India after Echo November India, it will be Battleground, which is, and I know this is a transition point into the arrival. Uh, Battleground, and then after Battleground, we're doing the Hawk 7. So let's activate that. Let's come back over here to Nav and Arrival. So now we're going to put in the Hawk uh, Hawks 7 Arrival, Battleground Transition. Let's activate that. Now we can come back over here to the flight plan and it should be uh so what we're gonna do we'll type in this btg and you come back over here and essentially we put it here now it's going to be a fluid arrival and then once we get closer we then determine exactly uh what runway we'll be landing on based off the controller now we can just run through this one more time to make sure we're cooking with Crisco. Let's go back over here. We need to enter our transponder code of 3215. We're going to put that right into the box, folks. Now, we can come back over here to our... Actually, let's go back to our performance initialization. Uh, and we're going to be looking at all this. That looks good. Our reserve fuel, we're just going to say we have uh, 3,000 pounds. And going on to the next page, we want to alter our cruising altitude. We are going up to flight level 360. And all of that looks good uh, as far as our uh, initialization. 
now what we can do is come on over here to our takeoff and actually we're going to go to perf we're going to go to takeoff and that's where we're going to enter those digits we are taking off flaps two today and we're going to put those figures in let me look up top here and we said uh, i'm adding one so our v1 speed is going to be 127 we're going to be pulling back on the flight controls at 136 uh, Oakland Center Horizon 318 Horizon 318 when you are ready for departure uh, with an ET with an estimated time of departure of less than five minutes I need you to contact NorCal departure on 135.1 let them know you're on the ground at Santa Rosa and uh, just requesting a release Okay. Okay, Roger that. We'll contact uh, NorCal departure 13510 within five minutes of our readiness for departures, and we'll ask for a release from Sonoma County for Horizon 318. Uh, All right. So I don't know if I wasn't paying attention to him. Uh, I don't know if, and, and I wasn't paying attention because normally I already got my clearance, and there shouldn't be anything else. So he might, have, he might have been calling me a few times. So I do apologize for that. But uh, we caught up to it, and now let's see back where we're at. We said 136, so actually I'm going to make this 138. And then for our climb out, of course, is going to be 144, and then our flaps clean up. And continue climb is going to be 192 into there we have a takeoff pitch of 11 now I'm not going to show you guys that but there's going to be a chart because I'm doing takeoff pitch 11 flaps 2 that means all my trims need to be 5 5 up so let's do that now so let's go trims 5 5 up and you see the numbers moving there and if you don't release it, it'll give you a notification that your trim is stuck open so that you know that your trim is moving. In this case, we do know it's moving. And almost up to 5.5. Five. Okay, so we are up to 5.5 five on our trim. So we have definitely squared that away. Now we need to go ahead and get our altitude of uh, initial climb is 9,000. And uh, from there, uh, we'll get a release and uh, get in there, and I guess they'll tell us who to contact. Um, let's make sure our FMS is selected, which we just did. That's an FMS. Horizon 318 is still on station. Yeah, I. Uh, that frequency is actually not going to work. Just contact me on this one. Alright, sir. We'll contact you uh, when we're ready for taxi and departure on this frequency for Horizon 318. Alright, so back to Easy Street. What else do we need to do? Oh, one other thing that we need to do is get our altimeter, and I believe I wrote that down. It was 3019. Oakland Center, American 8 Nation Radio 350. All right, 3019 is plugged in, and we have our flight director on, so as it stands now, the MCP is good to go, and uh, now we can get up top and put our APU on, so we're going to come up top here, and we got our nav light on, let's go ahead and put our red beacon on, letting folks know that we are getting ready to out of the field. All right, so we'll wait for the APU to come on here. Bravo Delta, contact Oakland Center. You can see it's coming up here on the percentage. And uh, again, I'm assuming that uh, he's going to give me runway 32 based off the winds. So we'll just do a little pushback. Uh, Kind of on to yeah, Zulu, uh, just enough to clear the gate, and then we'll go from there. All right, let's go up top now, and as you can see, we can let the ground, we can release ground power unit now. So if we come here, GPU does not need to be connected, and this is where we'll do all of our tow information. Now that we are free and clear, and set up the final thing here, which will be our map. Terrain and weather, we'll get that all when we go up there. Again, let's come back down here and just double check our flight plan. Let's see here. 
Okay, so this is the turns that we're making. STS, ENI, Battleground. Making sure there's no redundancies. Okay, looks good to me. And of course, now we've got this coming back. Let's go ahead and take a quick snapshot at our, our flight plan here. All right. And I don't know. That one nine point nine seven south of twenty three thirty one. Let's actually reduce this uh, range here. There we go. So we can kind of see what our flight plan is going to look better. Let's step through this. Uh, for uh, Freeze. And we go back to Charles Charleston out of there. It'd be nice if they gave us. Uh, something different than that so we don't have to come back to the STS but that's the way this is set up so uh, I guess that's the way it's gonna be all right we'll get about a 10 mile range on that and let's go ahead and get our pushback going here all right so let's see parking brake is released so we have to take that off in order to engage the tow all right And again, we're just coming back long enough to clear all of this gate equipment here. Yeah, yeah, 145, 145, 146, right at Reno. Alright. 145, contact Dope on center, 127.95. And just a little further back. On the ground at Reno, contact one two three. Thanks. All right, we're not quite on the active taxiway, so let's go ahead and stop this now. Legion four sixty four, contact Oakland Center one three five point one. All right, parking brake is engaged. Again, let's look up top. Hydraulic pump three A is on. Let's go ahead and fire this bad boy up so we can get out of here. Here's the engine coming up here. And the dust cover will close on its own. It'd be nice if it did that in real life. But, it's okay. Let's go ahead and get our Auto brake to reject it. Takeoff. All right, that is to reject it. Takeoff. And now I want you guys to pay attention to this. We'll put our slats and flaps to two. Slats being at the leading edge of the wing and flaps being at the trailing edge of the wing. We do have our pitch up. And of course, one other thing that we have to take a look at, our bleed APU valve is open and our steering is off. We're getting ready to turn that APU off here. But in order to get the steering off, you gotta, and this is the actual tiller, so this is what they use to steer the aircraft on the ground. All right, now that that's all squared away, and we got both engines on, we can most certainly come over here and turn the APU off. It's gonna start cooling down. <clears throat> and we are ready to go. Oakland Center Horizon 318 with the weather is ready to taxi. Horizon 318, runway, uh, runway 32 taxi via Alpha. Runway 32 via Alpha, Horizon 318. All right, so as you guys see that, I, I apparently he agrees with which runway that we should use so now let's go ahead and do this taxi and let's just double check everything here um, before we do leave though we need to go ahead and do our flight controls check so we're going to do that on the first officer side here the green indicates the doors are closed today so let's go ahead and go to the aircraft systems and now we need to most certainly go to our flight controls and let's hit that let's go full up full down rudder left Rudder right, aileron left, and aileron right. All right, everything appears to be working, so we can get off of that. Let's check all of our rest of the systems, hydraulics, 
Uh, looking good. Everything's in the green. Electrical. Everything is up. We got our... Uh, this is one thing you always want to check on. You want to make sure that you have your correct amount of volts for your alternate current and your direct current. Direct current would be something that's going directly... Uh, yeah, 22 climbing flight over zero. Alternate current powers the avionics and everything yeah, like that. And then our ECS. All blank. Anti-ice. Nothing on. So we're going to come back to status, and that's where we're going to leave this uh, one. We are squawking four five Since we're on the side, let's look right. We got a nice, uh, easy taxi going on here. Let's go back over, folks. Let's go ahead and release that parking brake. Parking brake is released. Charles Schultz, we'll see you next time. We're in this area. Right now, we are on a sub taxiway. That is Alpha there. In flying time today, an hour and uh, 36 minutes. That, of course, can be altered by uh, traffic that we do have. As we get to the runway threshold, we'll go ahead and uh, put our aircraft uh, into the flight level change mode. And we will also be LNAV, or lateral navigation, uh, and uh, go from there. All right. So what I decided to do, which I was against it before, um, I have added the add-on of the landing rate monitor. So when we touch down, we will be we'll start seeing how we do on my channel. Um, generally, I used to get that information uh, from flying on uh, virtual airlines, which I haven't done for a while. Uh, so I say let's get back into it. I know the flight sim world, the subscribers and the viewers like to see that. So. I'm going to give that to you guys, uh, regardless of that's not all of the factors that uh, make for uh, a representation of a good landing or, or observing whether the landing was good or not just based off of that information, but it can't hurt to have that information to know when those wheels touch the ground, how many feet per minute the descent was, and uh, obviously we want the negative one greased or buttered landing. Uh, like they say it's all about the butter and the greasing. All right, we are at the threshold. Hold short of parking brake is set. Oakland Center Horizon 318 holding short runway 32 ready for departure. Horizon 318 stand by let me get your up. All right. So, in the meantime, let's go over and do what we said we would. We are going to arm our Sorry, LNAV. Sorry, someone else checking? We're going to arm our LNAV. Uh, yes, I'm Actually, we need to three arm three the heading, as if we can remember correctly. We need to be flying a certain heading on the Freeze 9. So, that heading again is heading, uh, right, climbing left turn 164. Uh, your release time, your release time is 0148, so I'll get you on the runway in about two minutes. Hey, roger that. We'll continue to hold short until you give us our uh, release for the runway. All right. Hey, we're sending the Capo Center One with you passing uh, flight one two zero four one hundred. Right, we'll plug in our heading of one sixty four. Air Gap Four Seventy One Oakland Center Climbing Table Two Three Zero. Two Three Zero Air Gap Four Seventy One. And so that's what we are going to depart with. LNAV. So once we get our stuff situated, we will be going over to, just to show you guys what we're doing, we're going to most certainly go on over to our flight level change button for our aircraft to pitch up, and then we'll do heading here. Um, and by virtue of everything else, the yaw damper and everything will be on. Be able to make it three, right? So, That's flaps 2 speed not to exceed is 215. Center, Southwest 1983, 
leaving flight level 320 for flight level 240. Southwest 1983, Oakland Center, uh, descend and maintain 10,000, Sacramento altimeter 3019. Down to 10, got the altimeter, Southwest 1983. Oakland Center, arriving here at 1236, check it in. Now don't let me forget to hit the chronometer. 1236, Oakland Center, safe flight level, descend via the bricks to arrival. Let me make sure your first officer is in yeah, FMS mode 2, which is not. There we go. First officer is in the FMS mode with flight director on. Open center, FedEx 1885 is with you coming through 10,000 directed at. FedEx 1885, Oakland Center, climbing team fault 230. Climbing team flight level 230, FedEx 1885. Canada Force 91, contact Oakland Center 119.97. 119.997, Air Force 81. Southwest 1983, contact North Cal Approach 133.95. 3395 for Southwest 1983. Oakland Center, American 3842, uh, for 5 hello. Center, climbing table, 230. I was taking that climb instruction. 230. Climbing table, 230, American 3042. Horizon 318, runway 34, line of weight. Runway 32, line of parade, Horizon 318. Alright. So, we've got the line up and wait situation. Let's go. Horizon 318, runway 32, line of parade, clear for takeoff. Runway 32. Clear for takeoff for Ryzen 318. All right, and we're going to get our strobes on. We've got everything on there. Oakland Center, Legion 711, flight level 360. All right, folks, let's go ahead and make this happen. And ease on to the runway, of course. Legion 711, Oakland Center, Roger. And we've got our auto throttle on. Without that, we'll be in some trouble. Target 3842, clear our climate fall. Lima, Mike Tango, contact so we're going to come right all the way over Mike here. It was Lima, Mike Tango, and Woman 9.97, uh, well, correction, American 3042. Nice little right turn. Just line Target ourselves up appropriately. Contact Oakland Center 127.95. Uh, 127.95, American 819. Takeoff power is set. FedEx 1885. Contact Oakland Center 119.97. Make sure we don't redline it. 97% on the engines, which is good. Airspeed is alive. Downward pressure on the yoke so we don't lift up. 80 knots. Alright, we can go ahead and rotate off the deck. We do have positive rate. Gear is coming up. We'll nose down and follow the flight director here. Alright, now we can most certainly got a glare there. That autopilot feature heading and we're gonna come over here and most certainly do the flight level change that we talked about. All right, making our nice little turn as we should, as our heading. Doing our left climbing turn as we were supposed to. And we'll come up on the speed a little bit. Horizon 318 is at 1,900. Horizon 1236, contact your All right, we're going flaps up. All right, we are our climbing left turn at 164 and climbing. Horizon 
Alright, up to flight level 230, Horizon 318. Alright, so, we can go up flight level 230. Clear direct, uh, Mendocino, Echo, Dover, Mendocino. Clear direct, uh, Mendocino, Horizon 318. Alright, so, he gave us a nice little shortcut up to flight level 230. Super busy. Let's do a quick check. Landing gear is up. Flaps are up. We are continuing to climb. And now we are going to most certainly uh, get our speed up to 250. Present grade, you fly heading 080, contact at 1 center, 119.97. Okay, 119.7 for Oakland Center and 09 or 0 on the heading, Horizon 318. Present grade, heading 080. Zero eight zero and the frequency one one nine point nine seven. One one nine decimal nine seven on the frequency and heading uh, zero eight zero horizon three eighteen. All right. So zero eight zero on the heading and let's come down here and he said one one. Let's see what the cheat is here. It was 119975. That's 1975. Oakland Center, Horizon 318, 9000, climbing flight level 230, direct casino. Still doing good here. Once we get above a certain altitude as well, I'll put the aircraft into the mock feature uh, for the speed indication. Just checking our... Whoo! VATSIM is loaded tonight! Whoa! That is a lot of ATC. Everything here shaded is actually covers with ATC. Anything in light blue like this, there's no coverage, obviously. Uh, so yeah, we're cooking with Crisco here. There's a lot of folks here flying tonight, which is exciting. And let's see here. Here we are right here. This is us, so there's no aircraft directly in our vicinity. Uh, the other person, direct battleground, was probably this United flight. Roaches coming in here. Anyway, let me pay attention. I don't know if they're talking to me or not. We'll see if they repeat themselves. Delta 2331, contact Seattle Center 135.15. Good day. All right. Guess I should be uh, more of a multitasker with my ears when I'm doing this, which I usually am, but for whatever reason today I'm not paying attention when I'm talking. Delta 2331, Oakland. But they're calling someone else. It's not me, thank goodness. Seattle Center, 135, Dusk 115, Horizon 318. See you next time. Okay. All right, on over. 17, Sierra, Squawk uh, 3261. Squawk 3261. All right, we should be over to Seattle Center now. 13515. Good evening, Seattle Center, Horizon 318. Checking in flight level 360. All right, so he's got us uh, at this uh, zero eight zero. Turn right, heading zero nine or zero vector sequencing. Zero nine or zero heading. Zero nine zero for sequencing. Alaska four sixty one. All right, he just turned another pilot too. So we're still quite a ways out. If you look at the radar here, 
He's just... Uh, at 135, turn left, heading 120. Okay, here we are. Right here. We're heading east. And here's this Alaska 41. He just turned him as well for sequencing. Uh, must be getting quite crazy as aircraft coming here. So they're going to probably try to put us on this line over here. Is what I'm assuming. Um, I'm glad that I did uh, put some more fuel on board. So we'll see how interesting this gets. Okay, 461, verify a right turn, zero, not a zero. Oh, I thought about it. We thought you said left turn to zero, not a zero for Alaska 461. We can turn around if you want us to. Alaska 461, actually you can continue that left turn, that's fine. Left turn, zero, not a zero. Left zero, not a zero, Alaska 461. Horizon 318, turn left heading 360. Left 360, Horizon 318. Alright. Alaska 461, turn left heading 360. Left to 360, uh, Alaska 461. Finally got our left turn on. Left 1135, Center, good evening. 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 Back on heading, still heading north west. Flight level 320. It's about heading 314. And we've got battleground. And we have top of descent actually before battleground. So we should be descent. You're going to be holding there until I put you off it. Okay, sounds good. All right, so as we can see here, we have Hawks here. We need to be at least above 12,000 Hawks, so let's see how close we can skirt that line. Southwest 4517, contact for an approach on 124.35, connect. So we can be at Hawks. Approach on 2435 for Southwest 4517. Awesome, Mark, thanks for the And okay. we yep, can... you do the same thing. Hawaiian 28, heavy contact Seattle Center on 126.6, Last one at 12,000 can be Pikes. 26.6, Hawaiian 20, heavy. Yeah, hello, Delta 60, 87, flight level 340. Pikes between 15. Delta uh, 68, 87, Seattle Center, good evening. And there was somebody else that was unanswered. Can you say again, please? I think what we'll do is we'll probably do a manual descent here in a second. Delta 1390, Seattle Center, good evening. And get us where we need to be. But for now, this will be sufficient. Can we get a little closer? 
Is that for uh, 7236? Permit? Uh, we'll maintain 170 until Douglas 7356 clear out of us. I'm first going to even Alaska 8, which shoots 7,000 heading 26. Alaska 10, Seattle, first to descend, maintain 5,000, five heading 36 now. 5,000 out of 36, uh, heading 36, uh, Alaska 8. Seattle approach, horizon 318 is 6,000. 6,800 sending 6,000. Six We're heading 340 after fashion. Present 318, Seattle approach after fashion. I maintain 4,000. After fashion, down to 4,000, horizon 318. All right. So, 3035 on the altimeter. Just fly heading 350. Heading 350. We'll just keep that going down to 4,000. And of course, we need to put our situation here now. You can see here it says FMS, but we need the localizer to be uh, captured. So let's go over to 340 now, and now we are going to put hit this V. Now it's on the localizer one. All right, that's our next one, so we're going to delete that out. One one nine. Yeah, right. Delta Niner. Delta Niner. Out of seven thousand, hundred percent. Delta. All right, let's look up Yellow top. See what we have. Down. Landing lights Have are all six, on. Six, Strobes are still on, so we're good there. Number sixteen, Delta Mike, fly heading zero seven zero. Heading zero seven zero six. Let's go ahead and square up that heading. Alaska 1311, fly heading 070. Um, Seattle, send, uh, sorry, Seattle, right, Delta 57, I'm going to land now. Runway to touchdown land, elevation is right at uh, 418 feet. Delta 1057, Roger, fly heading 210. Oh, no, fly heading 210, Delta 1057. Yeah, Seattle, first, good evening, uh, 149, Seattle, first, 17, 5,000. No, 5,000, now, 149. Alaska, 10, flying 100, zero, 16, left, local, left, 100, zero, what's left, local, left, 8, 10. Yeah, 491, 7.8, setting 7,000. Yeah, 491, Seattle, first, flying 340, seven, 5,000. Heading 340 and 5,000, Delta 1057, traffic at your 12 o'clock and 4 miles, and A319 for 1 6 left. Uh, Roger, I probably will not make uh, Seattle. I've got, I've got an airport off to my left, but I'm going to go land there now. Delta 1057, Roger. So in the off chance he gives us uh, no, first, up to left, let's just have our backup frequency. Which is 1103. Delta Mike, heading 130, right localizer. 130, Delta Mike. Alaska 1311, heading 070. Heading 070, Alaska 1311. Horizon 318, heading 070. 070 on the heading, Horizon 318. Alright, on over to 070. Delta, uh, American 462, contact Tower 1100. Tower 1100, good day. Number 62, Delta Mike, cross. Bugney 3000, good hours 16, right approach. Okay, cross Bugney at 3000, clear the island. All right, we're going to maintain our heading two speed five, of 210. 250839. Let's. I'll ask 18 cross, ML 5000, code I left there one. We go. Left the All right, we'll keep the speed up until we get on course. Approach United 245. Airport is essentially over here. To, uh, 7, uh, currently at 8, United 245 to 17, 5,000. Let's see if we can't get a look. 5, Here's the Seattle area. No, I'll ask if
Alright. United 491, fly heading 190, join the 16 left, low closing. Heading 190 to join 16 left, slope United 491. Horizon 318, fly heading 130, join the 16 right, low closing. Okay, 318 on the heading, joining the 16 right, localizer, Horizon 318. Number 60 Delta Mike, contact tower 119 Number 60 Delta Mike, contact tower 119 Model protein, the one six right, local closing. Alaska, one Alaska, 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 We've got the localizer is captured. As you can see, let's go ahead and step the speed back. 190. And we're going to go, we're already flaps one. Let's go flaps two. Horizon 318, cross CLX, cross bugging 3000, clear ILS 16, right approach. Okay, cross point at uh, 3000, cleared ILS 16, right approach for Horizon 318. Delta 839, cross camo, 5,000, clear out left, All right. 16, left Down approach. to 170 on the speed here. Cross camo, 5,000, clear out left, 16, right left approach. Alaska 311, reduce speed, 170, zero knots. All right, let's go ahead and go down to our approach speed. Approach speed is going to be 128. All right, let's go ahead and throw out some brakes. Let's see here. Horizon 318, contact Tower 119er, point niner. Tower 119er, decimal niner, Horizon 318, we'll see you. All right. Delta 839, let's go ahead and go on over. Line up and wait, 3718. FedEx 1885 heavy traffic, three mile final. All right, we appear. Let's go ahead and pull the drag out. You want to go back across runway one six center traffic holding position. Getting landed here out now. Get some drag in there. Cross runway one six center American position. And we can take whatever parking you have uh, on there. Position. Seattle Tower Horizon three eighteen ILS sixteen right. Horizon 318, Seattle Tower, wind 0308, runway 16 right, clear to land. Following a diamond over the numbers. A uh, runway 16 right, clear to land, Horizon 318. All right, and we do see somebody taking off, is what he was saying over the numbers. So that's happening now. We are getting ready to most certainly take this aircraft manually. All right, let's just do our last checks. Landing gear is down, three green. Landing lights are all on. We have our auto brake to low. There's everything up top's looking good. And we've got our flaps set now to full. And we're just waiting Remember, for that to Delta Mike, turn indicate. left enable uh, parking signature. Left enable and a There's flaps to full. Number 62 Delta Mike, roger, tango and to let's signature. Let's go ahead and get Roger's ready to take this bad boy in. Delta 3718, runway 16 center, cleared for takeoff, wind 030 at 8. 16 center, cleared for takeoff, 3718. Alright, it is our aircraft. Let's keep that approach speed up. I'll ask 810, turn left, when able, say gate. Charlie 11. I'll ask 810, roger, taxi via Bravo to spot 66, monitor ground point 7. Bravo to... Six, uh, Keep that ground. right there. All right. November six nine or nine Lima Pop. Did you want to keep flight following? A five nine Lima Pop. Everything is looking good. Seattle Tower Delta eight nine two and a half miles from Douglas. One nine zero to Douglas. 
Wrong okay. time okay. for my, uh... Seattle Tower, runway 16 left, clear to land, That's right, we'll get back on the glide path here. November 699, leave a pop of flight contact, departure 120.4, take care. 20 foot foot next to the hub, I'm at the top of 502. American 462 on Papa across, correction, on Quebec across runway 16 left, and uh, taxi to right, parking via whiskey. Feet to go. Uh, runway 16 left across at Quebec, and taxi to parking via whiskey. Uh, American 462. All right. Delta 3718, contact departure, take care. And over to departure now, 3718, thanks, and good night. Bit over V ref. Alright, we're all visual. Alright, back on the power slightly. Let's get her lined up. And back on the power. All right, I like the speed, coming back slightly on the power. Flight low. Flight low. American 462, monitor ground point seven. All right. Monitor ground point seven. American 462. I'll ask 810, monitor ground point seven. I think I already told that. All right. It was a good flare. Give me back. Yeah. All right. Tower, good evening, Alaska. Thirteen eleven, Alaska. Thirteen eleven, Seattle Tower. Runway one six right clear to land. Seattle Tower, runway one six right clear to land. Wind zero three zero eight. Covered one six right clear to land. Thirteen eleven, Seattle Tower. Runway one six right clear to land. Seattle Tower, runway one six right clear to land. Wind zero three zero eight. But acceptable. Rise of 318, exit left, when able, hold short, 16 center, say gate. Okay, left when possible, hold short, 16 center, and gate is Charlie 2. Rise of 318, roger. Alright, flaps are coming up. Let's go ahead up top. Rise of 318, on the Papa, cross runway 16 center, hold short of runway 16 left. On Papa, cross one ray, one six center, hold short, one six left, rise three eighteen. All right. Delta eight thirty nine, safe parking. Right, we're on Papa now. I don't know. What is the where is the Delta parking at? Delta eight thirty nine, Roger. Uh, exit left, enable taxi via Bravo. The spot ninety nine. Monitor ground point seven. Bravo, the right. spot ninety nine. We're good to go. Four ninety one for one. My stupid controls here. We're gonna cross one six center and then we'll hold on. Yeah, four ninety one Seattle Tower, wind zero three, zero eight, runway one six left, clear to land. So they're not going to be able to do that. Four ninety one. Six zero six zero one six left in Charlie. Alaska six thirty six traffic, four and a half mile final runway, cross runway one six left, hold short runway one six center. Cross 16 left, pull short 16 on Oscar 636. Rise near 318, traffic 4.5 mile final on Papa, cross runway 16 left, taxi to parking via whiskey, monitor ground point 7. Okay, cross one, say, runway 16 uh, left here. We'll be monitoring ground once we get across and taxi in via whiskey for Horizon 318. Alaska 1311, say parking. All right. Uh, we will take wherever the Alaska gates are, Alaska 1311. So we do Alaska have Alaska 1311, roger, uh, pull up two, hold short runway 16 center for departing traffic. Hey guys, I'll pull up all the way and hold short runway 16 center for the departing traffic, Alaska 1311. Alaska 636, runway 16 center, clear for takeoff traffic, or, uh, the wind, 0308. Quick takeoff, 16 center, Alaska 636. Alaska 636. Power United, 245, ILS, 16 left. All right. United 245, Seattle Tower, wind 0308, runway 16 left, clear to land. 16 left, clear to land, United 245. Just ease up right here. Yeah, Seattle Tower, good evening, I want to put in the ILS, uh, 10, oh, correction, 16 right. Look right, look left. United 149, Seattle Tower, wind 0308, runway 16 right, clear to land, safe parking. Clear to land, 16 right, and we can go to the oh. south ramp. 
United 149, Roger. We got to get that ground frequency here in a second. So let's go ahead and get that before we get trouble. Ground frequency is 1217. Let's go program that in. On decimal 7. American 7469, uh, affirmative to uh, you can continue taxi on, um, sorry. All right. American 1927 is still a carry on, we know, voice. Horizon 318, are you up? Horizon 318 is up. Horizon 318, Seattle ground, um, you can continue taxi on Bravo, just give way to the A319 off your right when uh, entering the ramp. Hey, roger that. I have him at my 12 o'clock. I'll give way to the 318 for Horizon 318. There he is right there, speeding Hello, along. Uh, Carbolux uh, 28204 Heavy. Um, November 3 stand request push. Cargo X A two zero four heavy Seattle ground to push the starts at your discretion and just be advised that a green cargo seven forty seven put just push back behind you um, and call short of Alpha when ready to taxi. All right, we've got okay, aircraft we'll all around. Uh, There's another looks like E one seventy five. Watch out for the seven forty seven behind us. Thanks, Cargo X A two zero four heavy. Seattle Ground, good evening. Alaska 1260 has information. Right. Echo, Chris, I'm from Portland as well. Okay, all aircraft stand by one. We should be heading in. Okay, um, Alaska 1260. Alaska 1260, Seattle Ground. Um, can you accept? Actually, I'll have a full route clearance for you and, uh, Stand by one. Hey, right, Roger. Are we put in the wrong route. We just refiled to get with the correct route for Alaska 1260. All right, perfect. Alaska 1260, clear to Portland Airport, Seattle 7 departure. Uh, radar vector is to join the Allen 6 arrival that is filed. Maintain 7,000, expect 19,000, uh, 15 nautical miles after departure. Departure frequency 120.4, squawk 1505. All right, we're clear to Portland via Seattle 7 departure. Then I spiled climbing in 7,000 feet level 1. All right. Departure, departure, frequency 120.4, squad 1505, Alaska 1260. Alaska 1260, read back, correct? 